true given that z is a continuous random variable for the standard normal distribution find a a p z is smaller than 0.538 so actually in this chapter for the normal distribution uh, less than or less than or equal doesn't make much difference so it's pretty the same in this uh, chapter so this one so this one is smaller than 0.538 right so we know that for a standard normal distribution graph it will be something like this so mean is the midpoint which is this one is the mean which is zero so we have this one here something like this where this one in this one is symmetry and uh, where we know this one is mean is equal to zero and the error is still one so 0 0.538 it must be here 0 0.538 so the key to do this is that you have to draw first so that you can see where is your area so this one so we have this one right so this one is smaller than 0 0.538 which is smaller is this area but you need to know that to use our table to use our table z must be larger so the value is x must be larger z must be larger so we see here what we can do that we want to find this area right but if we can find uh, from the table z is larger than 0 0.538 then we can just 1 minus probability of z larger than 0 0.538 to get the shaded area 0 0.538 right so we know that we can only use this when it is larger the area is this one is for the area is larger 0 0.538 so you see here 0 0.5 is here and this one is 0 0.53 but we must subtract with this one which is we know 0 0.538 right so this one is 8 so we know this one 27 is equal to 0 0.0027 so the probability you take this one 0 0.2981 minus 0 0.0027 so here you get 0 0.2954 so this one is 0 0.2954 and this one is 1 so 1 minus 0 0.2954 0 0.7046 so actually you can find it so for this area actually you can find it using calculator but then for this one I will only show you how to use table maybe when i have enough time i might do tutorial on how to use calculator to find probability distribution but that one i cannot promise i need to finish everything first so this one so for b probability of negative 2.1 z 1.2 so we know that the graph is something like this where this one is 0 so we have negative 2.1 here and we have 1.2 here so this is the area that we wanted to find right So here to get the shaded region we need to find what is here and what is here so you need to find what is p z is larger than 1.2 right and what is p z is smaller than negative 2.1 but then you see we know that this one is symmetrical right and left is symmetrical so if This one is 2.1, right? So, if we put it here, which is 2.1, we know that the area of 2.1, this one is equal to Z is larger than 2.1. So, we can find this one and we can find this one. So, we know that this area is equal when we shift it to here because to use table, it needs to be larger than. 
so if you can find these two then this is equal to is equal to 1 minus because everything is 1 minus probability of z is larger than 1.2 minus probability of z is smaller than negative 2.1 so here So here z is larger than 1.2. So 1.2 is here. So only 1.2, right? So it's actually 1.20, which is 0 0.1151, which is this one, 0 0.1151. So this one is 0 0.1151. And another one. And for this one, z is and for this one, z is larger than 2.1. So here 2.1, this one is, okay. 2.1 is here, which is this one, 2.10. This is 0, which is equal to 0 0.0179. So here 0 0.0179. So here 1 minus 0 0.1151 minus 0 0.0179. So here we are going to get. So C, probability of Z is in between negative 1.52, Z negative 0 0.253. So here, so this one is supposed to be the same right and left. So just so this one and this one, so this one is further. So 1.2 and this one is supposed to be negative 0 0.253. So this is the area that we wanted to know. So we see here because uh, to find the value from the table, Z needs to be positive, right? So we know that this one, negative 1 point, and since this is symmetrical, so if we change it, this one is 1.52 and this one is 0 0.253. So we know that this area is equal this area, right? And we can see that area after 0 0.253 is larger than this one so we can get by using so here um, so this one is priority of so here z is larger than 0 0.253 right you can get this one so up until back so if you minus with probability of z is larger than 1.52 so you can get only this one So here probability of Z, so this one, Z is smaller because firstly it is smaller, right? Smaller than negative 0 0.253 is equal to probability of Z larger than 0 0.253. So from the table 0 0.253. 0 0.253, so 0 0.2 is here. So 5 is here. So this one is 0 0.25. So 3 is here. That means you have to minus with 12. So 12, this one is actually for uh, decimal point. So this one is 0 0.0012. So this one you get 0 0.4013 minus 0 0.0012. So here we get. Zero point four zero zero one. So this one is zero point four zero zero one. Priority Z is smaller than negative one point five two is equal to priority Z is larger than one point five two. So from the table one point five. So here Z is larger than one point five two. 
So from here we get 1.5 and 2 is here. So 1.52. So we just know that 1.520. So it is 0 0.0643. So here 0 0.0643. Now we have these two. So we know that this property is equal to which is equal to so this one larger than 0 0.253 is 0 0.4001 minus so z is larger than 1.52 is 0 0.0643. So here we get 0.3358 okay this one if you use calculator you will get one more decimal point so it might be so if you uh, key in inside your calculator so if z is larger than 0 0.2 Five, three, so you will get 0 0.40013 that's why uh, in the, uh, your textbook the answer might be a bit different because they are using calculator but then either one is okay because I mean the value is not much different so if you see your textbook it is 0 0.3359 okay but this one is by using table the P is in between 0 to 1.984 so we know it's something so we know it's something like this where see this one is zero so this one and this one is it's supposed to be identical where this one is 0 0.5 and z1 is 0 0.5 so you can say that zero up to this one which means this one up to 1.984 which is this area that we are talking about so we know that this one, the total at one side is 0 0.5. So this probability is equal to 0 0.5 minus. So if you can take probability of z is larger than 1.984, then we can get what is the shaded region because this one everything is 0 0.5 minus this region, then you can get you can get what is the shaded region. So here is 0 0.5. So this one you can find from table or directly use calculator. So 1.98. So you want to find 1.984, right? So this is 1.9 and your 8 is here, 0 0.0239. So we have 4 here, which means we have 2 minus this one is 2. This one is Four decimal point which is 0 0.002 this one is 0 0.0002 okay so this one is 0 0.0239 which means you see minus so 0 0.0239 minus 0 0.0002 you get 0 0.0237 so this is the probability So here minus 0 0.0237. So here we get 0 0.4763.